Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews. Doing another video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you what kind of apps I have on my LG V30. Plus, I'm going to show you how to get this clock widget set up. But before I do that, check this out. Okay, everyone. So, in this video, I've been getting a lot of requests on... What do you have on your LG V30? What type of theme that is? Also, um, people have been asking what type of apps you use, which I don't use that many different apps. But also, how do you get that clock widget on your phone? So I'm going to show you all all that. Um, I got it from a friend a couple years ago, but apparently um, he got it from another YouTuber. I won't mention any names, but... Definitely, I'm going to show y'all how I do it, and if y'all want it, y'all can definitely use it. You know, there's many different options in there that you can um, use. But some of the apps that I actually use, you can't go wrong with, you know, coupon apps. As far as, you know, the local grocery store. I don't know if anybody used Ibotta before, but you get paid money for stuff you regularly buy. Your Walmart and Target app. And then also McDonald's. Which is a bad place to eat at. But you know. Then you have your banking apps. Bam. There you go. I might not bank with everything. Then you you know you got to have your Facebook. And your Twitter. And Snapchat. And Instagram. Um, I don't really Snapchat that much. But I have it. Then you always want your Google stuff. So being a uh, content creator. You're going to have your YouTube. You're going to have your YouTube studio. Play music is great. You know, I pay money for that, by the way. Google Maps, Photos, and Android Pay. I don't really use many of those apps. You got to have the Google feed. Then I always use the Outlook email. Um, the other one, this is my home automation app thing. You have your Nest. There you go. I could change my temperature wherever I want to once I think. Then you have your Google Home. Man, Hanfrey's calling with Google Home, which is pretty cool now. Then I have the Harmony app. It's actually a uh, hub that I can control my TV with. And also use... Um, I can also uh, use Google Home to control the TV, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then you have the Play Store. Let's see, on this side, another thing for content creators, um, video show. Uh, if... You can do editing. Um, you film something with your phone. You can uh, edit it with this uh, app. Post it to YouTube just like that. Um, shout out to Anthony from My Project 13. He actually told me about this app. I know he uses it for most of his videos. Then you have your gaming app. I don't. I have Pokemon Go. Barely play it anymore. And Justice 2, Asphalt. I have more games. I just didn't put them in the apps. Then you know. You gotta have your uh, Redbox and Netflix. Let's see what else. Oh, shout out to Donovan for my stream on Friday. But he he told me about this Stash investment app. It is great. I've been using it, learning it. Um, speed test is just another thing, basically for for you. I, I, well, you test your speed, but I use it sometimes for YouTube. You gotta have your Telegram and GroupMe app. Got to have that. You will have GroupMe. I will have a link in the description, but Team 100 right there. Best team. Definitely we stream every Friday. You can join the community. Come chat with us. We talk tech all the time, pretty much 24-7. Then the other one, SoundCloud. I have the Bible app. Can't go wrong with the Amazon shopping app, you know, definitely. Then I'm going to come back to that one. Then I have some news down there, ESPN, and then the local news in New Orleans, just to keep up with my hometown. Let's see. Oh, one other thing is Mint. I don't know if you ever heard of Mint. Hopefully none of my account numbers come up, but Mint helps you keep your bills straight. You know, let's see. It helps you keep your bills straight. You can put your money in there. You can do many different things with that app. As far as your bills, you can actually pay them too with with uh, bill payments. So I use that app a lot uh, also. You got your PayPal down there. Bam. Who can't, I mean, pay people with money. 
if you want to. You can pay me if you want to also. Then you also got to have your TV apps. You know, your DirecTV, my at t you can pay your bill on that one too. So I'm a pretty simple guy when it comes to apps. I might have some more in the app drawer, but not too many. You know, like check display, it's pretty much, you know, just to compare uh, screens between phones. And you got to have Hangouts. You want to talk to everybody in the tech world, your friends. But that's enough with that. How you get this app, how you get your clock to look like this. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Yes. All right. So what you need to do, go to go to the Google Play Store. And if you type in beautiful, beautiful widgets. You do have to pay for the pro version. You want the pro, pro version because it will let you hide the backgrounds, which you definitely want to do. I I, I think it was below two dollars. Not a hundred percent sure what the price was, but you you do the free one and then you also pay for the pro one. It's not too expensive, but you definitely want it. And once you download that, all you have to do is hold your screen. If you go to widgets. And you find beautiful widgets. What I use, you go look for the clock that says B BW clock 5x2 and 4x2. So you just hold it, you drag it in spot. So here's the screen, it brings up uh, configurations. One thing you want to do before too is let me get out of this. Let me go back. My bad, y'all. Let's see. Alright, so you bring up the app, you download it, you want to go to Beautiful Widgets. Alright, so skip that later. You get some stuff. Alright, so you bring this up, you want to make sure you download um, the Angry Bird uh, themes. But as you can tell, there's many themes in here. You don't have to use Angry Birds, you can go to Trending. I mean, there's many different ones. I tried out some. I mean, you can do any one you want. You can do all themes. But you just want to search at the top. Type in Angry Birds. And Birds. And just hit the search. Alright, so you hit the search. It brings up all these three. It doesn't matter which one you want. You can just hit the little arrow. It shows you up there. It's downloading. There you go. Bam. Once it's downloaded, it actually tells you it's been downloaded. So here's what you can do now. Now you want to click in the open spot. You go to uh, widgets. Go back here and do the five by two. You put it up here. Here is where you um, set up everything. You can change the weather themes if you want to. You could actually down some, download some of those too, but I don't. I just use the regular one. Clock themes, as you can tell, you have Angry Birds, Bug Fist, Angry Birds Normal. I'm going to just do the first one. So here, if you don't buy the Pro, this is how this is how your, your application will look. It will look just like that with Angry Birds on it. You don't really want that. So what you need to do, let me, let me delete it. I want to go back. All right, so you go back. You go here. All right, you drag this one. So what you want to do when you're in the screen, you hit your clock, you do your bug fist or whatever app, whatever theme you want to put on there. So you go to backgrounds. This is why you want to pro. That button right there that says hide backgrounds, that's what you want to do. You want to hide the background. You can change it. You can name it to whatever you want. You could change your location. You can use your local time like I do. You do 12 hours. That all opens up. And once you're done, you hit the little check mark. And then you just make this as big as the screen. And there you go. You add the clock widget. It's that simple. Again, if you want to change it, if you don't want this one, there's many different options. But that's how you pretty much get this clock widget. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Until next mm -hmm. time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day now.